You know who I spoke to who was on the show the other day, and I did a seven-minute segment with him on parallel parking because he had just, just when he just dialed up the, 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 the show, he was trying to find a parking spot. I think you might have actually seen it on Twitter. It was your, I did. your colleague from, uh, from stage and screen, uh, Bobby Cannavale, um, when he was trying to par- find a parking spot. And I thought of you too, John, because I, 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 I remember watching you and him and Al Pacino on Broadway do Glen Gary, Glen Ross together with Richard Schiff. It was one of the greatest things I've ever seen. It was the most exciting experience of my life. We only agreed to do 100 performances. And uh, so every night we were at that tiny theater, the Schoenfeld on 45th Street, which is right. in, in the context of Broadway houses, it's about 1,000 seats. And so, in other words, if you go see The Lion King, that's about 3,500 seats. So that's a barn. And the, the Schoenfeld's very vertical, so the audience is right on top of you. And that ensemble of, of Jeremy Seamus and, and David Harbour and Al and, and Bobby uh, and Richard – I mean, there's a bunch of all-stars. And every night it was rock and roll because I think people came to see Al. And then you come to find out that it's the greatest contemporary play, American play, written for men. And that, that first act is 31 minutes, and you're having a cigarette out on 31st, 31st Street, 34th, and I'm sorry, 45th Street. And you, you, all of a sudden, 31 minutes went past, and you didn't know what happened. And uh, unlike the movie, which is kind of very casual. Yes when they're organizing the robbery uh, in the first act at the, uh, at the Chinese restaurant, it's, you know, it's a rainy night, and it's, James Foley directed it, and it's kind of casual. And then, of course, all hell breaks loose. But uh, they asked David to put a special, David Mamet, who wrote it, they had asked him to put, he told me this, they asked him to put a special effect to get the movie going, like an explosion or something. And he wrote the Alec Baldwin <laughs> diatribe. That's, that's the, that, that that's was the this, explosion. That's that, not in the play. Right. And Alec's character is a threat off stage in the play, which won the Pulitzer. And when they asked him to do the movie, they said, we really need something to get this thing going. And so I did talk radio with Alec, and I call him Alibaba. And they just put Alibaba's uh, rant in that first one that everybody quotes nonstop. Of course. And, uh, that's, that's how David solved that problem. So they wanted a special effect, like an they actual... They wanted a special like effect a, and nothing. I mean, it's Alex, just the biggest special effect on the planet. Yeah. Wow. I did not know that about you the story. You action and get out of Alex's eyeline. You got you got you got something to work with. Oh, my God. Always be closing, call, you know... Call, all you, that's not in the play. None that's of that's in the play. an offstage threat. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.